Everybody has been talking about getting a side hustle. I know times are hard. So today, I am gonna share with you five business ideas which can all become your main source of income. These are ideas which anybody can do. So forget about the side hustle money. We're gonna be talking about business money. You see, here's the thing with side hustles. A side hustle normally requires you to exchange your time for money. And our time is worth a lot more than 10 or 20 pounds per hour. So the one rule that I've got for these ideas that I'm gonna share with you today is that there shouldn't be a direct exchange of money for your time. Hi, my name is Bike Jones and welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So the first business idea that I'm gonna share with you today is teaching. Now, I'm not going to ask you to become a primary or a secondary school teacher. I am talking about teaching on a platform like Skillshare. If you don't know what Skillshare is, Skillshare is a platform where anybody can pay a monthly subscription fee and learn anything on the platform. One of the best things about Skillshare is that anybody can create and upload a course to Skillshare completely for free. Skillshare will pay you five to 10 cents US dollars for every minute of watch time that you get. Now imagine, you create a free hour course, 180 minutes of watch time, you get 100 people per month to watch your course, that's $1,800 per month, every month. Now, what if we scale that up 10 times? You get a thousand people per month to watch your course. That's $18,000 per month. Insane. Now, if you want some inspiration, check out this video by Ali Abdal, where he explained that last year he made over $700,000 just from Skillshare. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna make as much money as Ali Abdal here, because he's a massive YouTuber, he's got a massive following, but what I'm trying to show you here is that you can create a legit business just on Skillshare. If you have the ability to create any course that you can deliver by video, you can be making money on Skillshare right now. Now, what can you teach on Skillshare? Anything, but if you have skills in Excel, even Microsoft Word, but you know, creative writing, graphic designing, programming, um, interior designing, even things like cooking, it really doesn't matter. You can teach anything on that platform. As long as you can deliver that course by video, you can teach it. All you need to do is to create a Skillshare account, create your courses, upload them, and as soon as people start watching, you start earning money. Even though you can create any course on Skillshare, it might not be the best place for certain kind of content. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about things like fitness. So let's say you're a fitness influencer. Have you ever seen your favorite Instagram fitness influencer saying that you should sign up to their fitness app? Do you actually think that they've created an app? Or maybe they have, but many times what they're doing, they're using a platform like Playbook. Playbook is a platform for fitness influencers, people who are interested in nutrition and well-being. All you have to do is to get people to sign up for a subscription on the playbook. You need to obviously upload your fitness content. So if you're an aspiring fitness influencer, you create fitness content like training plans and so on. You upload that to playbook. Every subscriber you get, you will make 80% of whatever they pay for the subscription as long as they remain on the platform. Now let's say that person signs up and then they start to follow another fitness influencer and they never watch any of your content again. It doesn't matter. As long as you were the one that brought them to the platform, you will continue to make 80% of whatever they pay for their subscription fee for the lifetime of their membership. So if you're really into fitness, let's say for example, you're a personal trainer, Playbook is a great platform for you to deliver your fitness content. Now for my next business idea, you're probably gonna think that this area is really saturated, but I promise you it is not. That idea is to become a content creator. TikTok is completely changing the game. 
short form video is about to blow up in 2023 and beyond because competition for users has been greater than it has ever been before. If you look at Instagram, they're doing everything they can to retain users because they're losing a lot of users to TikTok. So if you have an Instagram account, here's a tip for you, and you want to grow that account, you should be creating Reels because Instagram is doing everything they can to promote Reels. So this is where all your efforts should be. YouTube, and this is the money, YouTube has recently launched a program where they will be incentivizing creators to produce short form video on their platform. YouTube is the first platform that is paying content creators for short form video. Instagram and TikTok, as far as we know it, are not doing it yet. What does this mean? It means that content creators might be moving from platforms like TikTok and Instagram to YouTube. And it means that they will now have to create similar incentives to attract the best creators. Every platform wants to attract the best creators. So if YouTube are paying content creators, it's very possible that TikTok and Instagram will have to do the same. But while short form video is about to take off, there's a new trend that is also emerging for long form video. And I'm talking specifically about podcasting. If you have the ability to create a great podcast, then I think you should pay attention because the competition here as well is massive. YouTube is now competing with platforms like Spotify and Apple Music for the best podcast content. So creators have never had it this good. If you remember a few years ago, Joe Rogan was paid about 200 million US dollars to move his podcast from YouTube to Spotify. So I am telling you today, short form video, long form video. If you're looking to create content, these are the two main areas that you should be focused on. So I'm not saying you should do both of them, but what I'm saying is, if you have a particular interest in video creation and content creation, then there's never ever been a better time for you. Now imagine selling a product where there is no manufacturing, there's no inventory, there's no shipping, and best of all, there's no dealing with annoying customer returns. I am talking about digital products. Digital product creation is one of the best ideas for passive income. You literally create it once, start selling, and you just watch the money roll in. I recently came across this Twitter user, I think his name is Easlo, and he was making over $200,000 a year selling Notion templates. If you don't know what Notion is, Notion is a productivity app. It helps you to organize your time and tasks and so on. But he has been making over $200,000 by selling templates for this platform. I also recently came across another YouTuber and he was selling, I think it was Tumblr templates. And I didn't even realize that anybody was still using Tumblr. But between 2017 and I think last year, 2022 or 2023, he made over $700,000 selling Tumblr themes. Now, is anybody actually still using Tumblr? Because if they are, I need to know because I need to be making some Tumblr templates as well. However, I am not saying here that you have to be making Tumblr or Notion templates here to make money. You can be selling things like eBooks. Now, check out this influencer that I follow on Instagram. She creates and share recipes and then she sells the recipes in an eBook on her website. Now, from what I've seen, she has made a very successful business for herself doing this. There are literally hundreds of digital product ideas out there that you can be using to earn money. Now, for example, are you great at something like Excel? You could be creating budget planners. People are literally paying. I've seen, pe I've seen people paying up to 12 US dollars for an Excel budget planner. This is literally easy money. <laughs> I am telling you, a lot of these business ideas Anybody can do them and it has never been easier. So I want you to meet Lindsay. She's not my friend. I don't know her. I've never met Lindsay, but I've been following Lindsay for a few years now. Lindsay was a primary school teacher who started a blog called Pinch of Young. And for the first few years of the business, Lindsay has been publishing an income report. Now, if you look at income reports here, you can see that Lindsay has been making up to $30,000 per month from her blog and as far as I know, she's still doing really well. She has over a million followers on Instagram today and she has a very successful business running a blog and sharing recipe ideas on a blog and through her social media accounts. 
Now, my next business idea for you is to create a web application or a blog. That could be a website that provides a useful service to users, a web app that can be accessed through a mobile phone, or a blog that provides useful content like cooking recipes. I recently heard about Peter Luffles, and Peter Luffles created a website called nomadlist.com. And nomadlist.com is just a resource where people can find remote places to work based on the weather, internet connections, and so on. He also created another website called remoteok.com. And remoteok.com was just a website that advertises jobs to people who want to work remotely. Now, I learned that Peter Lovers makes about $2 million a year from both of these platforms. He has zero employees and no debt whatsoever. Let me share something with you. And I might embarrass myself a little bit now. My first online business was actually a job board as well. I created it in 2009 when I didn't know how to write a single line of computer code. Now I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking, this design looks awful. The code is probably terrible, but it worked. And I had over 30,000 registered users on this platform, over 5,000 people accessing it every day. This website laid the foundation in teaching me everything I know about running a business online. I was getting paid by Google AdSense from about 2009. I don't think people even understood or knew what Google AdSense was in 2009. I was also making money from affiliate income through sources like Clickbank, Amazon, you name it. It was insane because that was my introduction to the world of online business. I never fully realized the amount of money you can make from running your own website and the different streams of income that it could open up to you. When I created that website, I wasn't creating it to make money. I was creating it to learn to write computer code, but it taught me so much about running a business online. And that's why I think even today, it's one of the best ways to create your own online business. And literally, you can start making money right away, as long as you can drive traffic to your website. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not by any means saying this is easy. You will learn how to generate traffic and so on but the opportunities for you to make money and to create a successful business here. You will have an audience and the earning potential will be massive. Now I've created many online businesses, but by far the best online business I've ever created was a print on demand business. Now what is print on demand? Print on demand is just a business model where you sell a product online that you can put a design on, but you never have to touch the product or hold any inventory yourself. All you need to do is to come up with a nice design for a product like a t-shirt, a wall poster, or a mug, a phone case as well. You put your design on the product and all you have to do when a product sells is to notify your printing partner they will take care of everything for you. Now you literally don't need to do anything because all of this can be automated. Your print on demand partner can plug directly into whatever e-commerce platform you're using. And when an order comes in, it goes straight to them and they will print package and ship the product all for you. Now let's say a product arrives damaged to a customer or it has some dodgy printing or the product is missing. All you need to do, so for example, if the product arrives damaged, you just need to ask that customer for some photographic evidence. You then send that evidence off to your print on demand partner and they will pay to replace the product for you. You will never have to pay for anything out of pocket. Now I'm gonna show you this Etsy shop, which is called the, the Curious Shop. You can see here from their designs that they're just selling some basic designs with text, nothing too complicated. But if we scroll back up, you can see that they've made over 94,000 sales. Now I've done a bit of research and this shop has been on the platform on, it, on Etsy for about eight years. 94,000 sales in eight years is a lot of sales. If we multiply their total sales by their average selling price, the cheapest price on here that I've seen is about 18 pounds. So I think that's about 20 US dollars. If we multiply that by 94,000, we're looking at over 1.7 million dollars or pounds, whatever currency you wanna use. The pound and the US dollar is nearly one to one nowadays anyways. Over 1.7 million US dollars in eight years. 
years. That works out to anywhere between, I would say, 150,000 US dollars a year, or maybe more than that. It could be more than that. My math isn't very good, um, but you see what I mean. It's a lot of money. You know, they have in their store over 2,600 products. And just by looking at these designs, I can already tell that they're using a print on demand partner as well. So they're, they're not doing anything special here. All they're doing is coming up with nice designs. Now I'm not saying that you should go and copy um, this shop because you'd be infringing on their copyrights and don't do that. Now I know you'll have a lot of questions about setting up your own print on demand shop. You know, how do you find products? How do you find designs that will sell? How do you create the designs for the mock-ups? You know, how do you find a print on demand partner? So many questions. So here's what I'm gonna do. If you haven't subscribed already, you need to subscribe now because my next videos are gonna be about setting up your own print on demand shop. I am gonna be setting up two print on demand stores, one on Etsy and one on Shopify. And I'm gonna be selling the same product on both platforms. Now we will see here which platform will be able to get us the most sales and make us the most money. I don't know which one it will be. Now I will show you my entire process for finding products to listing the products. I won't show you the actual products that I will be selling and I won't tell you the name of the shop either because you might just go and copy my products and I wanna give my shop a chance, thank you. So yeah, I'll walk you through everything without showing you my actual products and we will see how well it does. But if you want to know how to set up your own Shopify and Etsy shop, you need to click the subscribe button right now so you don't miss the videos when I release them. Now that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you've made it to the end, I appreciate you very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment as well, share the video. It will really help the channel to grow. Um, you take care and I will see you on the next one.